Hey guys, in this short video, I will give you an introduction on the JSON schema specification and validation. For those who are not aware of what JSON is, it is a format in which data can be transferred between different systems. It is the string representation of JavaScript objects and thus the name JSON or JavaScript object notation. The fact that it is so popular these days is because JavaScript has become a crucial part of any web application and it is hard to imagine any web app with any functionality being built without the use of JavaScript. JSON comes into picture mostly when data needs to be fetched from the server or it needs to be posted to the server. It can also act as a data transfer standard when integrating two different systems running on servers. This is usually done by converting any objects into JSON format and then sending them in the request body when calling any services. So this is how JSON is usually used. But how about checking if the JSON data is in the correct format or not? Suppose that a web app is fetching JSON information from the server which it needs to construct portions of its user interface. How will the client JavaScript code know that the JSON data structure is correct or not? This is even more important when systems of different vendors have to communicate with each other. Because the devs of both systems have control only on the code base they own, they need to put checks in place to ensure that their application is processing the data in the correct form to prevent any system failures and code crashes. This is when the JSON schema validation comes into play. There is actually a website which contains draft of different versions of JSON schema rules which devs can use to define what is permitted and what is not permitted so you can go through it if you want to this is the json schema.org and the current version of the draft is draft 07 and i am actually going to use a newly added um, schema feature or part of the schema to show you a code example and let's come to that later also i would uh, want to or I would like to ask all of you that if at any point you think that you like the video then please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and this will be a great encouragement for me to keep on adding more videos and you will also be the first to know about any new videos which I will add to my channel. In this example I am going to define a schema and then I will use a JSON schema validation code library to validate the json data and hopefully this will not be too complicated for you guys to understand and of course the code library which i'm going to use is this one which is ajv and this can be used on both server and client side on the client browser side i am actually going to use a hosted version of this library which can be fetched from the um, cloudfare or cdnjs.cloudfare website so let's first add the index.html and then I'm going to add some initial HTML content. All right, so the first thing which we need to do is we need to add the script reference for the um, CDNJS URL um, to add the reference for this. Um, AJV JSON schema validator so it's this one now after this I am going to add two JS files to this folder first one is going to be for the schema which we are going to use to validate the JSON data and the second one is going to have the actual data which we are going to validate for its correctness so I am going to create two files over here first one is going to be schema.js and then let's add another one and call it data.js now let's first look at the schema.js file what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to define a schema by using the pretty basic and standard rules and I'm going to add the schema into a JSON object or I'm sorry into a, into an object of JavaScript which will be attached as a property to the window so that we can access it from inside the um, script element of this index.html file so this is a self-executing 
function block and let's create an arrow function i'm going to provide the um, reference of the window in this w and then let's just name it schema and then i'm going to create this schema for a person object and for that the first thing which we need to put is the title of this schema and this is going to be a person object schema and then we also need to provide the type this is going to be an object i will not actually tell you all the basic stuff like we need to provide the title and type and all that you can actually go through any a decent tutorial on json schema and you will get to know about all of these things what i'm going to do in this code example is i will show you how the um, if then and else conditions can be implemented in the json schema so that we can check if the incoming data is correct or not so after this let's uh, define the type of the properties which the schema will validate and this is going to be an object so let's have a first name and this is going to be a string and i'm just going to copy it for another property which will be the last name we can keep the type same as the first name and then um, let's add age and this is going to be an integer and i am also going to add two more constraints to this age property first is the uh, minimum value let's use the 18 as minimum and then similarly we can use maximum to i'm going to put in 100 and now after this i can provide some conditions that if um, the age is below or above any particular number then we can or uh, we need to have a property incoming with this data if the property is not available then the validation will fail and the code will know about it and then similarly we can in, uh, we can tell the user that um, this specific property is missing from the uh, JSON data which is incoming and yep that would be the error handling and to create or to provide the if condition we simply need to write if and then inside an object we can provide the uh, name of the property on which we need to um, put the if condition and for that i need to write properties because i'm going to use a property over here and then i will need to write the name of the property which i'm going to use in this case it is the age property because i need to check if this is a above or below any specific value and then over here i am defining the condition which is the maximum so if the age is below 60 then what will happen is the schema validator will check if there is a specific property or not so i am uh, putting in the property as required over here which is going to be salary so if the age of the person is uh, below 60 then he should have a salary otherwise he should have a pension something like that so it's pretty basic i mean and then similarly i can i think copy and paste this from over here and if the age is above 60 then the person should have um oh i'm sorry i don't know what i'm doing yep the person should have pension yep so this is the schema which we are going to use to validate the json data and now in this data.js i am using the similar approach 
to create a self executing function to um, assign a property which is called as json data to the window and in the code we can actually use it so now let's get to the code and uh, validate the json data so first i'm simply going to um you know what yep use the document dot um add event okay and i was thinking why i'm not getting the intelligence document dot add event listener and then whenever the um, contents will be loaded then we can wire it up to a function let's call it on load and then in the on load function first we will need to um, create a new object by using the reference of this ajv um, library and we can do that by simply calling its constructor and then we can um, validate the um, the JSON data against the schema by using the validate function of this AGV code library so this validate will accept two arguments the first one is going to be the schema and the second one is going to be the JSON data and then if the um, validation is not valid or if the data is not valid then we can simply um, log to the console the error so for errors there is a property which is called as errors in this library and yep that's pretty much it about it guys so now to run this application um, I'm going to use the live server extension and then um, this extension will actually um, run the code on the uh, local host port 5500 so let's run it now i'm going to open up the um, the console to check if the code is running correctly or not so i guess nothing is being printed over here because i'm not really sure if this data is correct or not i think it's not so maybe i have done something wrong okay right so schema is not defined all right so i am not actually importing the references of these um, two code files these two js files and then to do that i am simply going to add the script tag at the top and first one is the data.js and then Similarly, we can add the schema.js and I think there is another error over here schema is invalid data.type should be equal to one of the allowed values and it is saying the type is not correct I think this should be in the small case yep all right that error is gone and now it's saying console is okay so guys i'm really sorry about all these errors so now it's working now we are getting the um, errors which is an array and the error is actually saying that um, you know what let me just expand this a little bit so the message is that should have required property pension so why is it so because the thing is in this data i have uh, set the first name and last name and then the 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 if condition is acting upon this age property and the value of this age property is 65 so according to this schema if the age is above 60 then it should have a property which is called as pension and otherwise it should have a property for the salary so if i need to remove this error what i need to do is i simply need to add a property to this um, json data and um, let's add the pension now when i'm saving the code then the error is gone 
otherwise if i will put salary over here then still the error should come because the age is above 65 so it is saying should have required property pension but if i will um, reduce the age to 55 which is below 60 then it should expect the salary property over here and now the errors are gone now if i will remove this property from over here then it will simply tell us that um, should have required property salary so that's how the um, schema validation is working over here the json data is comparing against is being compared against this schema which we have defined and for another example what we can do is um, we can actually you know what let's use the age as a one even though this rule is correct salary should be there because the age is below 60 we have also defined the constraints for the minimum and maximum value allowed for age so there is the message that um, the age property should be um, greater than or equal to 18 and similarly if we will set an age which is bigger than 100 then also we should see an error message that should be less than or equal to 100 so yep that's how the schema validation is done there are actually other libraries which can be used to it depends on your preference which you think is easier to use and easier to maintain in your code base so that's pretty much it about this video guys and i hope that you have liked this video and have understood what i am trying to convey here and if you like the video then please place a like on on the on the video as well as please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so so that you will be the first to know about any um, new video updates and i will see you in the next one till then have a good day